so I'm Ariana Cohen Halberstam. I'm the artistic director of Boston Jewish Film and the Boston Israeli Film Festival. I'm so pleased to have with us today Lior Chefetz, who is the director and screenwriter of Sky Raider, Amir Tesler, who is the lead actor who you just saw in Sky Raider, and Noah Evanor, who is my co interviewer today. Uh, thank you for joining us. You're uh, very welcome. The movie is about your Tom and his dream to be a pilot. Do you guys have any dreams or had? Uh, yeah. So uh, actually my dream is not to be a pilot. Uh, my dream is uh, to keep uh, doing uh, cinema, the art of cinema and uh, movies uh, behind the camera and in front of the camera uh, in my life. And uh, that's it. That's that's my dream, my my uh, career dream. I have uh, many dreams uh, uh, that less uh, egoistic. Less, less egotistical. Same, same, same <laughs> word in English. Not all my dreams uh, helping myself. Uh, were you drawing? Were you drawing? World peace. Those... I want world world peace. <laughs> Were you drawing on your own dreams when you were acting as this character in the film? Did that, did you sort, were you sort of pulling from your own dreams to, to take on the character of Yotam? Yeah, of course. The, the, the dream that uh, motivates the, the, my character, character uh, is different from my dream, but I thought, I thought what people can uh, do for, uh, for their dream uh, and that's what connected me to the character. Yeah, uh, growing up, I don't think I had a dream to be a pilot. My dream as a kid was to be a doctor. Hmm. But um, after my army service, I changed my dream to be a film director. And it took me some time to achieve that dream. It takes uh, many years to, to complete a movie. Uh, but once I finished Sky Raiders, I achieved my dream to be a film director. How did you come up with the idea for Sky Raiders? Sky Raiders was born from a gift that my mom gave me for my sixth birthday. She gave me a book, a children's book. That was many years ago. It was maybe almost 40 years ago. She got me this book. It's called Adventure in the Squadron. Uh, you want to see the book? I have sure. it here. OK, hold on. Amir, did you know this book? Uh, I, have it, I have it in my house, yeah. I think. Leo gave it so, to me. A copy of that? Yeah, so that's the... I think I need to keep moving it. If not, it will be <laughs> like yeah, to disappear. So it's a, a book about two boys that they have a dream to bring back this historic airplane back to life, the first fighter plane of the Israeli Air Force. And uh, they fix the engine and they fly it. And in the end of the movie, in the Independence Day, um, air show, but there is no bad guys, there is no brother or father, um, so it's very different. And uh, when I was in film school, I went back to my parents' house for a vacation, and uh, I saw this book on my shelf with all my old children's book, and I immediately thought that could be an amazing movie. And I uh, look up the name of the writer. He was a, a combat pilot when he was in the army. He was actually one of the commanders of a squadron 101 and uh, i met with him he lived in the same town as me or celia and i told him uh, yeah i really like this uh, story and i think it could be a fantastic family film and he gave me his blessing and uh, it took me only 10 years after that <laughs> meeting uh, to, to pre premiere the the movie wow there's so many uh, layers to the characters in the film and every character seems to have some barrier that they have to sort of work through whether it's talking about his father or um, Morris sort of dealing with getting older and, and sort of realizing that he can still have this life with planes. Um, how much of that came from the book and how much of the emotionality did you create in writing the screenplay? 
Um, from the book, there was very little. The book was two kids that they want to bring, uh, two boys that want to bring the plane back to life. And they succeed in doing so without uh, getting caught. The, the mentor, the old uh, figure guy, uh, he was in the book a children's doctor. Uh, in the book, it was different. Uh, one of the kids had uh, a cold and they went to the doctor and the doctor was a, a pilot in the independence war. And he's like, ah, you like the plane on the pedestal and I would help you fix it up. Mm -hmm. So there is no uh, emotional uh, except for pursuing the dream and appreciation to the past and the heritage. Uh, we, I, we, me and the other writers, we uh, built it all from scratch. So we had to think about why, what obstacle, inner obstacle Yotam had, and um, the the fear of um, of uh, actually you know getting hurt like his father was the the main thing. Is directing since this movie uh, the lead was two kids. Is directing a movie with kids any harder or different than directing a movie with adults? Uh, I think the. Uh, the, the, there was one uh, director in Hollywood many years ago, he said, the most important rule for making a movie is never write a script with kids or animals, dogs or cats, because it's impossible to direct those. And I think it's not true. Uh, working with Yotam uh, Amir and uh, Hila, the lead actress was fantastic. And I think the secret is in the casting, not in the directing because we worked really hard. We saw hundreds of kids when we looked for our lead uh, kids and um, it took us so long to find the right actors. But once you find the right actor, then it's very easy to direct. The performance is fantastic because you have the right person for the job. And then for me, it was exactly the same directing adult or kid. What was the um, audition process like for you? For me, the audition process was the uh, first I did not get the role. Uh, and then- uh, But why? Later, why? Why you didn't get the role? You, you tell it, you tell it. No, it's your story. Ah, because I was too, <laughs> because I was too little. And for How me- How old they, were you? For me, they waited too young. For me, they waited the, no, no, not for me, not for me. It's a good story but, there. Uh, but uh, I think I'm ruining, I'm, I'm ruining the story. So tell you, you tell, with my bad English, I'm ruining the, this good story. So maybe <laughs> no, you no, tell it. You're telling it right. But we saw Amir when he was 11 years old. And he walked in, he was short. You had the long hair, you remember? And yes. you, you were super cute, but you were too young because the role of the kids are your age. You're, no, you're seventh grade? Yeah. So the character are, are eighth grade, more or less the same. Mm -hmm. So uh, Amir was uh, too young. He was 11. He was, uh, I think, uh, maybe six, uh, fifth or sixth grade. And uh, we cast a different kid. And then something that happens in a lot of oh. uh, movie production, it's called our financing fell apart. <laughs> uh, we, we, we thought that we we're going to do some uh, co-production with Germany. Eventually the money wasn't there. and. Uh, we had to postpone our movie uh, one year. And the kid that got the role of Yotam, he was so disappointed that we postponed the filming for a year, he decided n not to act and to quit acting altogether. Wow. He just <laughs> left the, the field of acting. And you then ruined his we... career. <laughs> but maybe, you know, he finds something that he was more passionate about. He'll be about. the doctor that you were meant to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, then we did the casting uh, again, and we invited Amir to come back because we were really impressed by him. And in that year, you grew up maybe, you know, like six inches more, and you had the short hair, and you were full of confidence. And we, we did something called matching. Matching is that you audition the two actors together to see how Hila and Amir works together. And it was amazing chemistry. You remember that? Yeah, I... I... I remember where it was in Tel Aviv, but I don't remember what was there, uh, actually. He's so, he's so young. <laughs> How I old did are you have, now, I, mean? I did not have a, a mustache the, uh, then. 
Now I'm uh, 16 years old. Then I was uh, 12, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, you were th- three months before your bar mitzvah. Ah, yeah. So I was uh, 12 to 14, 13, Mashkul. Yeah. Something like that. There were so many scenes uh, in the movie. Amir, which one was your favorite scene to do? Uh, I I love the scene uh, when we sit to the table with the Noah's uh, family because I'm because I'm, I like uh, Nati Ravitz is is uh, is a great actor and I he plays uh, Noah's father Nati Noah's father and I like to walk with uh, with with him and I I did not have uh, so much scenes with him. But uh, I did have that scene, and uh, it was fun to shoot the scene because uh, we sh- we we it it was shooted uh, after a long week when we when we uh, ran and uh, uh, dr- uh, drove uh, bicycles, and then and then it was it was a switch because we just. <laughs> uh, set we we just we just sat to the table and uh, and ate and uh, I, I don't know how to say it in English sorry for my bad English but it was fun to to film the scene and uh, I think uh, she 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 uh, the, it <laughs> it was the uh, the it came out really funny the scene. Lior, which one was your favorite? Scene to direct. Um, I really like the scene. Uh, let uh, the, in the final movie. I think my favorite scene is that Yotam finds the old plane and he walks around it, and you hear the the tail of the plane creaks, and you hold it, and it stops moving. And uh, then you sit in the cockpit, you hold the stick, and you imagine uh, that you fly. And Noah is like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> so I, I, this, I, th- I really like this scene because it's very emotional and I think the music is fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really special. So um, it's a spiritual scene. It has a lot of uh, inner uh, realm to it. Uh, the, my favorite scene to direct, I really like the dinner scene too because you have all the actors sitting together and uh, you have a lot of uh, back and forth and ping pong and uh, nagging each other. Right. Yeah, so that was, I enjoy uh, directing it a lot. Um, there were a lot of like emotional scenes and the really funny ones. Do, do you guys prefer um, like directing or doing the funnier ones or did you like doing the emotional ones better? What do you like better, uh, funny scenes or emotional scenes? Uh, I think uh, I I think uh, the emotional scenes was uh, uh, it was more challenging for me in that age. Uh, so the funny it was like when you have. Uh, uh, comical pause. Comical pause. So uh, if you, uh, when you have a, a comical pause in the in the in the movie, uh, we feel it when we shoot it, and then it more it's more fun. So the emotional was more challenging, and the funny scenes were more fun to shoot. I did enjoy from the emotional scenes, but but it it it, it took me more. Uh, energies that no I, I love I love both of them <laughs> I can't decide sorry yeah it's, it's interesting I like um, a scenes that have conflict for example when Yotam and Noah have uh, falling out and they are fighting and Noah is walking out of the hangar and there are no no to net walk, talking condition anymore so that for me it's great to to direct those to see explosion on the screen uh but i think the most emotional scene in the movie is when amir character yotam is uh, falling apart emotionally in the in his bedroom after he breaks all the planes and um 
directing it was amazing because I told Amir, uh, you know, you know what's happening here. You, you know, you know the the script. So we just putting the camera and action when you're ready, and we hit the record button, and that was the first take, and that's it. Wow. So. Uh, directing is a lot of casting. You put the right actor and you don't interfere with this internal work and the results you see on the screen. So thank you so much, Amir. <laughs> thank you. This is one of the most uh, fun experiences I remember from the shooting, from the shooting of the movie. Um, so I remember that, uh, that we, we uh, uh, this this person uh, went out. This person uh, and I thought and I, and I felt bad that uh, people uh, are going out because of me. I felt I I, I I just said no no you can stay you can stay. People asked me the 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 lighting guy. The lighting, the lighting guy asked me uh, Amir can I stay? So I said uh, yes you can stay. Uh, I, I <laughs> Stay, stay. I'm not. Uh, I'm not telling you, telling you to go out. And but it was a, a really good experience for me. That that's it. Just he cre wanted to create this environment that would be similar to the one in which he'd be having that reaction. Yeah. Yes, yes, and I appreciate it. It just right. was. Uh, it was funny that he asked me. Wait, so you just told him, did you give him any instruction of what to do? Or you said, just go around the room and destroy things? Or were you, no. was he choreographed in that room? Um, breaking the room was choreographed. We uh -huh. did it in three sections. So we start with the left wall and he knew that he's destroying everything up to a third of the room and then we cut. So we did that and then we did that, the, 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 the next third of the room and then the last third of the room. Um, that's how we do it. And we had all the posters, we had three sets. All the models, we had three sets. So the production designer had a, a room next door in the house where you can see all like three, same model, three, same model. And um, uh, we didn't use any of them. So uh, all kind of team members, uh, for example, the assistant cameraman, he took posters and model for his kid room. Oh, nice. <laughs> so this room looks like uh, the the film the room in the movie before getting destroyed. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. I the, I I was wondering what would happen if they had to retake that several times. It's a good thing you were working with such a talented actor. Um, that seems like a pretty challenging scene. What was like the most challenging thing to do? Uh, the most. This is the most challenging scene. Uh, scene I think. Uh, the breakdown. And because it, 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 it was the most emotional scene for my character. Am I right, Leo? Um, yeah, yeah. This is the height of your, of your emotion, definitely. For me, the most challenging scene to film, it's, maybe it's weird, but uh, when Amir arrives at the hangar and he meets uh, Hila for the first time and she's uh, washing the plane and then the father and the brother comes and uh, they kick her out. I don't know why, but I kind of, um, I ran out of time there. It was mm. super hard for me. And uh, I did too many takes, too many angles, and we ran out of time. And I had to cut from the scene we shot after. It just was uh, was hard. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah, the remember. cinematographer it took the camera out of the dolly, the dolly. tracks where you push it, put it on the shoulder. And he said, that's the only way we can get out of your own time. Wow. So, were you shooting Were you shooting according to script? Was that one of the earlier scenes that you shot? Um, yes, yes. It was in the first yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we sh filmed for four weeks. I think oh, by the, after a week or two, I was more skilled, more uh, experienced. I'm curious, like, there are all those scenes on the planes. How did you shoot those? Uh, was it CGI or? So in order to shoot the the, the plane, there there is one plane. You're talking about flying, yeah? Yeah, all what? the plane scenes. I mean, the, even yeah. the opening scene where he's um, 
where he, where he's dreaming, but it looks like he's yeah. up in the air. Yeah, so what we did is uh, there is one real uh, Messerschmitt, this historic plane. There is one, uh, f that one airplane that survived and it's in the Israeli Air Force Museum. And we thought about asking them, can we borrow the plane? They said it's so old and so rare. If you just try to move it, it's going to fall apart. So what we did, we built an exact he broke a replica that looked really uh, real. And um, what we did when we shot the aviation scenes is we put the, we put the, excuse me, uh, we put the, the actors inside the cockpit. Behind them, we put something called a green screen. And then in the, in the computer, we were able to replace the background with sky and cloud, whatever you see through the window. But when you see the planes flying on the outside, we did uh, something called the CGI, computer generated images. It's the same software that used to do all the Pixar movie and all the Marvel movies that you see special effects, visual effects. And uh, we were able to take those planes, uh, the Messerschmitt that doesn't fly anymore because it's too old and put it back in the sky and fly it up. Um, how much research did you have to do about these planes going into shooting? Did you um, did it, you know them, or you know, did, were you aware from your books about the Black Spit and the Messerschmitt, or was that a big was there a big yeah. research department? Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of uh, I love airplanes and I love aviation history, and every place I go, I immediately go and look for the aviation museums, and uh, I drag my wife any country we travel to 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 see those. She's tired of that. <laughs> and so I'm a big fan of this world. It, but we had to do more research for the movie. For example, we had to build a replica of the, of, of the Messerschmitt. So we had to give the workshop that built that uh, new plane. Uh, I had to look in the online and I found original plans, blueprints of the oh. German Air Force from World War II, from the 30s. And yeah. they used those original uh, Nazi blueprints to build the, um, the plane. So the film screened in theaters in Israel, is that right? Yeah, we were lucky. It was summer 20, uh, 2019. So it was uh, about half year before the pandemic. So we had a wide theatrical release. We were screening in every theater. It was very successful. And now we are uh, in theatrical, dis in a uh, worldwide distribution. I, the film was dubbed to French, French. so mm. we have uh, the, a version that the actors are speaking French. Cool. Uh, it was sold to, to the Netherlands, and now we are uh, continuing our worldwide distribution. Great. Are you working on another film? Is your next project also going to be a family film? or? Uh, actually, now... Um, I was a team of a uh, part of a team of, of screenwriters for a TV show now playing uh, in Israel. It's called uh, The Cops, Shotrim. It's a drama with a lot of uh, uh, cops and thieves and guns. Uh, so it's not for family at all. And uh, my next feature film is for adults too. It's about a, a war drama, Israeli war drama. So uh, hopefully in the future I will come back to content for kids and youth. Yeah, we have Amir, so what's too. your next project? You, you're filming something now, the, those days? Yeah, I'm filming, uh, I'm now in, in my free day. Uh, so it went, it went good. Uh, uh, just in perfect timing. But uh, in, the, in this uh, three months, I'm filming, uh, I'm, I'm doing a, a main uh, role in, uh, a new drama for uh, uh, Tagida Shidura Tsiburi. Uh, yeah, Channel 11, the Channel national 11, broadcast. The national, uh, yes, <laughs> broadcast. Uh, about, uh, yeah, we, we do have, we, we, we also have uh, crime and uh, cops and uh, guns and, uh, and drugs. 
בחיים. So it, it's not, it's not for, uh, it's not for uh, kids also. We, we showed um, A Tale of Love and Darkness here many years ago. So we've seen you on screen here in Boston before. So, so now you're seeing me from a, from a childhood to, it's like in levels. Yeah, every time, we're every following time I'm your here, growth. Every time I'm here, I'm growing up a little bit. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to seeing all of your work here um, in Boston. And, and I'm really glad that we're able to bring this film to Boston. I, I saw it, you know, again, as I said, close to a year ago now, and, and I've been eager to bring it here. And I'm, Noah, thank you. For joining and, and being a part of this conversation too. Thanks so much for having us. Okay, Toda. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Leah. Nice thank to you. meet you. It was a pleasure.